so uh, this is a compiler for efficient vector commitments, uh, which uh, I want uh, to build a new vector commitment from a existing vector commitment. Uh, so uh, the motivation is uh, from ASVC, which uh, I want to uh, improve the update or proofs uh, algorithm, but uh, it seems that it, it, it is very difficult. So I want to uh, build another vector commitment based on the existing vector commitment to improve both update or and aggregate. So now suppose we have a vector, scheme, vector commitment scheme, uh, which has uh, all and log n time to open all proofs. Uh, actually here log n can, could be uh, relaxed to any uh, anything like a poly log time. And uh, we need O1 time to update each single proof after receiving an update request, uh, uh, which is feasible in many vector commitment schemes. And O1 time to update the commitment, uh, yeah, which is also very, uh, easy to achieve. And the most importantly, uh, we need the vector scheme needs uh, uh, aggregation algorithm. Uh, but actually we don't care how they do the aggregation, we just need their exist uh, aggregation algorithm. So now for our compiler, at the beginning we have a vector and uh, we can open uh, the, we can commitment to a uh, to a commitment and we have all the, we can open it to all the proofs. Uh, this is the initial state. And when we receive an update request, uh, which means I want to update the position I1 to delta I1, uh, we just uh, put the request into a update record and uh, use the O1 time uh, commitment up update algorithm to update the commitment and update the vector, just the vector in our uh, list. Uh, when we keep receiving uh, other update requests, uh, we keep updating the commitment, we keep updating our vector and we uh, record, our, record the update request in the list. When the number of records reaches square root of n, uh, which means the record list is, is for of square root of n records. Uh, we use n log n time to open all the proofs. See, the proofs here are, can, can, are all updated at once uh, using the uh, open all algorithm. And now we can clear the record list. And since uh, all the proofs, all the single proofs are updated now. Uh, so anytime if we need to get some single proof, uh, we just need to uh, extract the initial proof and apply the, apply every record, uh, update record in the list uh, using the update single proof algorithm, which is O1 uh, to get the uh, the newest proof, uh, the, the, the newest single proof pi j prime. So if the record list is at the most square root of n record, so the uh, get one single proof algorithm needs at the most uh, square root of n time. So above all, we need amortized uh, n log n, which is the open all proofs uh, over square root of n, which is square root of n log n time to do the update part. And we need at most square root of n time to get any single proof since uh, update single proof needs O1 time. And uh, for any index set i, we need O i square root of n time to get each single proof. And then we can do the aggregation. Uh, we don't care how the aggregation is uh, is, is done, but we can do it since we have the single proofs and then do the aggregation. And there's another uh, simple optimization. If i square root of n is over than n log n, which means uh, the set is very large, 
we can just choose to open all proofs uh, instead of uh, to get each single proof, uh, which means we don't need to consider uh, to get each single proof one by one. Actually, now we can try some amortization technique to improve the worst case. Uh, uh, since I want to uh, amortize the n log n time algorithm, uh, I want to do it separately. So uh, the method is to extend the size of the record list to two square root of n. So if we have square root of n record, we can just uh, divide the n log n time computation into uh, square root of n parts, and we do the computation in the next square root of n updates. And if we have two square root of n records, we can clear the first square root of n record since the first uh, n log n time open or algorithm is finished now. And so in this case, the record list is at most two square root of n. And uh, generally, it has at least square root of n records. So uh, if the number of the update record list reaches the square root of n uh, in this way, uh, uh, in general, we want to use the n log n time to open all proofs, but uh, we don't do it right now to finish the, the whole algorithm. We want to do it in the next square root of n up updates. So we leave those updates records in the list. We cannot uh, clear them since we haven't updated the single proofs yet. And when we then uh, get any update request, we put it in the record list. We update the commitment, we update the vector, and we do the first of the uh, first part of the opening all proofs, which is this algorithm. And when we re receive uh, other requests, we keep doing the other parts of the unlock and opening all proofs algorithm. And when the record list reaches two square root of n, actually we have already finished the algorithm. We have actually finished the algorithm here. And now we can clear the first square root of an updates in the record list. And, and at, at this time, we, we are now, we should prepare for the opening all proof algorithm for the next square root of n parts. And now the single proof is actually updated for the first square root of n parts. And so we can clear the first square root of n updates in the list. And uh, anytime we, if we want to get a single proof, we just need to extract the, the single proof here and uh, uh, apply those update requests in this new list and get the single proof. So uh, actually uh, the, this amortized case can be uh, improved to worst case. And actually we can also set a parameter here to uh, here with the situation if the aggregation set is always very large or always very small. Uh, so it's just a balance of, uh, it's just a trade-off between uh, update all and aggregate. And actually uh, we, we, go, we can see the uh, uh, table from hyperproofs and uh, many of our uh, uh, vector Commitment schemes, uh, which has n log n or n log n square time to open all, can be applied to our uh, compiler, and uh, we can get a new vector scheme. And uh, as long as it has a n log n polylog time to open all, and it has an aggregation time ag aggregation algorithm. Uh, so that's all for uh, the, this com uh, compiler. And actually, if we just use the uh, um, discrete log uh, uh, assumption, uh, I kind of believe that if we can improve this, uh, I mean, if we can improve this, uh, if we can improve this uh, compiler, we can actually improve 
the algorithm of FFT, uh, which means uh, FFT is something like this, uh, uh, some, some, something of convolution computation. And uh, the update part is actually uh, arbitrarily update the sum of, the, of one uh, function. And uh, the get one single proof is arbitrarily get some of the result. So uh, if we can improve the, our uh, algorithm, our compiler, we can actually improve uh, the um, method to update uh, arbitrary of some list and get some any item of the result. Uh, it's, it, it's just an intuitive uh, guess, um, but I cannot prove it right now. So uh, that's all for my uh, presentation. Uh, any questions? Uh, wait, Jir, have you have you uh, implemented a deamortized version of this that actually has the worst case uh, time you claim? Uh, the deamortized uh, algorithm is uh, it, it is now being uh, implemented by an undergraduate uh, uh, by uh, an I and a Barbies is uh, um, keep going on, uh, keep supervising that. Uh, actually, it just need to, to separate the FFT algorithm to square root of n parts, right? Right, yeah. So I have a, a question. Can you please clarify what is the, again, the requirement about the running time of the aggregation that you need? Uh, because I got- uh, This page, uh, right? Yeah, right, the, the last line. Uh, so you, do you need aggregation and or you need some weaker form of aggregation and also what kind of um, running uh, time you are assuming about aggregation? Uh, that depends on, actually this compiler doesn't care for the aggregation algorithm since uh, our goal is to get the single proofs. So it can do the aggregation for those single proofs, right? Uh, but uh, um, if, if the aggregation is, is, is very efficient, like uh, uh, much less than square root of n times, uh, uh, it's better to not use our compiler. Uh, 